Welcome again, Maxim here. Today we are going to talk about our orbiter and missions we can do in Warframe. Let's explore our hideout. There is a navigation in front of us. Using it we can check available missions and choose one to play. On the left we have a panel to manage syndicates. In exchange for our help in special missions we will get useful items. You will find more details about that in a dedicated video, so let's move on. First panel on the right from navigation is for game informations, updates and community news. Next one manages Conclave, place where you can fight against other players. More about this in the end of this video. Moving on, we get to the market. Here we can buy blueprints for new weapons, characters, all kinds of add-ons to our ship, both useful and cosmetic ones. Almost all aspects of Warframe can be changed by skins or add-ons. On the other side we can find Codex. Here we can check information about our weapons, Warframes, mods, enemies, finished and available quests, etc. Going down below the deck, on the left we can manage our mods, upgrades for Warframes, weapons and few more things. On the opposite side we will be able to craft new interesting things using collected blueprints, credits and resources. Next important spot is a place where you can manage your pets. And here you have place where you can check and upgrade your void relics. Many of those places I mentioned need a longer explanation, but don't worry, there will be time for everything. First things first, we need to visit the arsenal. Here we can choose which Warframe we want to use on our next mission, but also weapons and few other things. Here we also have a Parazon, short blade for executions and hacking. Next step is for companions and pets. And in another one we can edit our gear wheel, insert there some useful items and use them by pressing Q during missions. Now let's start explaining them. In Warframe we have a few different types of missions. The basic two types are those that have regular end and those we can play as long as we want or can. Let's start with regular ones. Most missions in Warframe can be played with team, but I will show them in solo mode. First one is exterminate. Objective is simple. Kill as many enemies as needed. You can check the mission progress on the left side of the screen, under minimap. When it's done, the rest of the enemies is no longer a threat and we can head to extraction. Next mission is capture. We need to target, shoot and capture enemies VIP. Simple. But from the time to time, that type of missions convert into exterminate. Before leaving this location, we need to kill some amount of enemies. The capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. We need our subject brought back alive. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Change of plans. Ignore your original objective. Leave nothing alive. Another one is mobile defense. Our objective is to move data mass to pointed places and insert it into the terminals. Each terminal needs some time to be hacked. During that we need to defend it from approaching enemies. All terminals must be defended if the mission type won't change before we finish. If it changes, kill all remaining enemies and head to the extraction. Now let's talk about sabotage. In Warframe we can find few types of them. On Earth we need to destroy toxin catalyzer and burn out toxin supply in the mixer. We are going to destroy the injector by operating it at a dangerously high velocity. Keep the grenier at bay until it melts down. In other kinds of sabotage we need to destroy the whole galleon. In order to do that, we need to destroy coolants to have the reactor to go into stasis. Now we choose how we want to finish it. We can freeze it totally or melt it down. Both ways destroy it completely. Sometimes we need to hack a console to get to the extraction. But we can find more kinds of sabotage. One of them requires us to destroy mining equipment. Other one to hack two consoles 
Go through the portal, kill minibus and destroy the portal. During most of sabotage we will be able to find special caches located somewhere on the map with extra rewards. They look like this. And generate specific sound to ease locating them. Okay, enough of that sabotage. From time to time our allies get captured by enemies. On rescue missions we can set them free from prisons. Alarming guards will trigger countdown. Hostage will die when it reaches zero. We can kill those guards or just avoid them. The captive will be in one of these cells. Search them. I knew you would come. Thank you. Sometimes then I have to steal some data from enemies. We can do that on spy missions. Under minimap we can see how many rooms we need to hack. Maximum three. Each room is a small riddle that we can pass in few different ways. But watch out. If you step into camera range or touch green lasers, the alarm will turn on and start data purging. From this moment, you will have only short amount of time to complete the room before data is deleted. Triggered alarms does alarms not inflict the rewards. You need to retrieve that data before the data destruction is complete. Data integrity verified. Sometimes we will also have to fight some powerful enemies on assassination missions. Most of them has their own rules. Many of them can be defeated in a very specific ways. Usually, it's not enough to just shoot in random point to kill them. Well, this rule does not apply to him. We can also visit locations where we can sabotage enemies in some different ways. Hijack is a good example of that. Depending on the fraction, we will have to hijack for Morion Core or Rover. Both missions are very similar. We need to find an important object and steal it by powering it with our shields until we reach extraction. Of course, enemies will try to stop us all the time. In navigation we can find missions called Crossfire. Two factions clash there and we do not spare any of them. That's the only difference because core of the missions is the same as you already know. It can be exterminate, spy or something else. To discover more planets you have to visit junction. Before that we need to meet specific requirements. Each junction has its own. The final task will be defeating a guardian. Then we can use console to unlock another sector in navigation. During our adventure we can find missions called Nightmares. Those are modificated regular missions. For instance we can fight without shields or in timed mode. For completing it we will be rewarded with special mods. We can also find open locations on Earth, Venus and Deimos called Plains of Eidolon, Orbvalis and Cambian Drift where missions are mostly modificated variants of regular ones you already know. From time to time you will face more interesting and original ones but I will explain them in some other time. Talking about variations, Alerts tab always contains only variations of missions yet with better rewards. Check this tab regularly to never miss any interesting items. Here you can also find missions that are available once for some time for instance, Arbitration, game mode for more advanced players after completing Star Chart. Next ones in these sections are Invasions and Conflicts. The first one is about Infestation Outbreak in some sectors. We will get a reward after helping local residents three times in the same location. Conflicts are similar, but here we will have Grenier and Corpus fighting for territories. 
It's our choice which fraction we join. Help them three times and you will be rewarded. At the bottom we can also see circles with Formorion and Razorback. I will explain them in a video about cyclical events. Another tab is about syndicate missions if we cooperate with some. Next tab is for Void Fishers and the last one is for Sortie. All these three variants of missions you already know from playing on planets and moons, but with special modifications. All of them we can unlock during our journey in Warframe or after completing some story quests. We can manage them in Codex, check what we need to do to unlock next ones or switch active ones, if we have started few of them. Now let's talk about endless missions. First one is defense. After we enter the map, we need to find and protect artifact from approaching enemies. With each wave, we face bigger and stronger squads. Living mission is available every 5 waves. Endless missions got their own reward system. Each 5 waves is one rotation. Different rotations, different rewards in a reward pool. Rotations will loop infinitely and start with A after 5 waves. Next one is also A after 10 waves. Going further, we have rotation B after 15 and rotation C is after 20. And all of them repeating over and over again. After C, we get twice A, then B and C, and again and again. Sometimes we will face an exception from that rule, but more about that a little bit later. Every 5 waves we can live and keep our rewards. If you are interested in the rewards which you can get on a specific wave each endless mission you play, check warframe.fandom.com. I would highly recommend it to use this website from time to time, it contains tons of interesting information. Another endless mission is survival. This mission right here is also a dark sector. In this location you will always face infestation and the whole mission have a special modifications. For instance, here is 35% higher resource drop chance, more affinity from all kills and also from mela kills. It's a good place for farming resources. Going back to the survival. Our mission is to keep oxygen level above zero. It will be decreasing all the time. We can increase it by collecting personal life supports dropped by fallen enemies or activating life support capsule. Each personal ones at 5% and the capsule adds 30%. But remember, you can't collect more than 100%. If you have full oxygen and you pick or activate more, the excess will go to waste. Don't activate capsules too early. Rotations are the same like on defense. The only difference is that you have minutes, not waves. So one reward every 5 minutes, rotations in the same order. A, A, B, C, A, A, B, C, and so on. Next one is interception. We need to intercept our enemies' messages by taking their towers and keeping them in our hands long enough to decode them. Each tower can be in three states taken by enemy, by us, and neutralized. When it's taken, the progress of the occupying side is increasing. Neutralized state generate no gain. To win round, we need to reach 100%, otherwise we lose whole mission. Enemies will try to capture towers at all times. If they succeed, we've got to take the towers back. I can recommend a good tactic here. Play with a full squad, so that each point can be occupied by one player. Rewards same as before, each round, one rotation, A, A, B, C and so on. Now it's time for excavation. Old artifacts are hidden deep under the surface. We can get them by protecting digging towers. Each tower needs to be powered up with batteries carried by special enemies. Kill them and bring energy source to excavator until you see the maximum power. Each battery adds 20%. Batteries can be still used on towers to refill shields. Reward every completed excavator. You can go to the extraction after first completed. Next mission is Disruption. We need to insert a special key into a color-fitting conduit. They will be dropping randomly from killed enemies. Each point needs to be protected from a special enemy unit that will try to destroy it. 
listen for the characteristic beeping. That's the sign he is coming. About rewards. This mission is different. All depends on which round you are playing at the moment and how many conduits you have already defended. If you lose all of them, the mission fail. Here you can see how and when you can obtain a specific rotation. After fourth round, it's always the same. Now we have the deception. We need to defend green new fugitives from infestation. Each crew moves from point to point until they reach the extraction point. We can activate the team using console or they will start without our help after some time. Each point can heal them. When you decide to move, give them a sign. If one of them takes too much damage, you need to heal them, otherwise will change into infested monster. If we lose 10 of crew members like that, the mission will fail. Every two secured teams we have one rotation. After saving two of them, third will spawn on point B, and after saving two from there, we will be able to escort two teams at the same time. One from B and one from C. We can extract in any moment after saving two teams. At the later stages of the game, after you completed some story quest and visited a few planets, you will find whole planet taken by infestation. There will be mission called Hive. You need to destroy three infested hives. Each hive is protected by five tumors. Destroy them and you will be able to destroy hive. Look for yellow points on minimap. On this planet we can also find a unique endless mission, Infested Salvage. During it we have to encode shipping manifest to get reward. To do that we need to fill vaporizers with anti-serum that drop from killed enemies. We can carry three of them at once, vaporizers also need three to be fully loaded. Each point has to be loaded again from time to time. Rotations with reward as usual. During mission you will also lose armor integrity. You can restore it in special point using one anti-serum. Last endless mission is Sanctuary Onslaught and its elite mode. Each round here is a test where we have to kill generated enemies to keep the stress test meter above zero. One round is two and a half minute reward every two rounds. Each round you will see portal that will move you to next location. If you want to finish the test and keep your rewards, just don't go through the portal or make stress test meter drop down to zero. Regular and elite onslaught have different rewards. To check what you can get, go visit the Warframe Wiki website. Few words about arenas. These are places where winning means killing 25 special enemies. Sounds easy, but it's not always that way. Similar mode is Conclave, but we are fighting real players. We have four modes here. Annihilation, each player is an enemy. Team Annihilation, clash of two teams. Cephalon Capture, typical capture the flag mode. And Lunaro, team game where you need to catch ball with a special claw and throw it into the opponent's goal. And that's it. Now you know almost all types of missions in Warframe. If you have any further questions, ask me in the comment section or you can ask me personally on one of my streams. Link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. Leave a reaction under this video if you liked it or not. I'd like to read your comments as well. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. I also invite you to visit my Twitch channel, Maxim underscore land. Streams from Monday till Sunday at 5pm. See you next time, bye.